going on guys? Matt Downs with Daily Grind Fantasy Sports here to give you the edge for this prize pick sport. This is Friday. Happy Friday to everybody. Cannot wait to break it down. Before we jump into the content, I do want to say that I have a quick announcement. We are officially partnered with Props.Cash. Props.Cash is a prop betting website uh, research tool. You guys head over there. You guys get to see the, the trends for today. You guys get to see the over-unders on the right side, the hit rates. You guys see all the charts that I do. You guys know what it is if you've watched this channel before. But if you guys haven't signed up for props.cash, um, you guys can sign up using code PROPS25 for 25% off every single tool that they have, every single membership option that they have. It only makes sense that we're partnering with these guys just because we're always talking uh, prop betting. We're always talking about their website. We're always putting it up on the screen to show you guys. And a very useful tool. That's It's honestly the only tool that I use for my research. And of course, this is a prize picks video, so I have to mention prize picks. If you guys haven't signed up for prize picks yet, Feel free to enter code using DGF for 100% matchup to $100. Prize Picks is a fantasy app where you simply hit the over or under of any certain fantasy projection or player prop. You, that's how you play. It really is that easy. And again, that is code DGF. You get $100 free dollars just for watching this video. And as always, before we jump into today's plays, I do go over last night's success or failures. Last night, it was a failure. Uh, this was actually the first time we dropped under 50% in like five or six days. So we've been on quite the tear. Uh, but yesterday, with it only being two games and really uh, having a limited amount of plays to choose from, that's what really screwed us. So if you guys were watching the Brooklyn, I'm sure a lot of you were watching the Brooklyn 76ers game. It was a small blowout. Uh, a lot of the players, the main starters, didn't play the entire fourth quarter. So that really hurt some of these projections. So let's talk about what did hit, what didn't hit. Drummond hit the over on assists, did not hit the over on rebounds. By the way, this is covering the uh, the free video that I put out yesterday. Seth Curry missed the rebounding total by 0.5. Uh, played the entire game, too. Uh, just unfortunate there. Kyrie missed the points, rebounds, and assists because he didn't play the entire fourth quarter. Uh, Clay also missed. This was the only person not included in that game. Did miss it, the three points made. And then Kyrie did hit hit very early on. And then with our premium picks, we put out two yesterday. Again, because I didn't like too many picks there on the board. Uh, Bruce Brown hit, did not hit the over. And then Drogic did hit the over of points, rebounds, and assists, bringing us to three of eight. Again, the first time we dropped under 50% in like five or six days. So... Uh, nonetheless, I'm overall very happy with the recent success that we've had. And if you're interested in signing up for our premium picks, I post premium picks at dgfantasy.com. That is my personal website. For only $5 a week, you guys get access to all my favorite NBA plays. Um, we put confidence ratings next to every single one of those plays so that you guys know to prioritize certain plays, which ones to, to not prioritize. Uh, $5 a week or $10 a month gives you access to all that and so much more. One of the best values in the, in, in the entire industry. Coming in as my honorable mention for this prize picks board is going to be Dean Wade over 6.5 points. This gets a confidence rating of a 6.5 out of 10. Wade averages 0 0.03 more points per minute with Jared Allen off the court. He also drew the start last contest versus the Pacers and played 37 minutes. While I don't expect him to play that many minutes again, it's worth noting that I do have him hitting the over in just 27 minutes here. Overall, the Cavs are going to have a very thin rotation and have a very safe floor for him in terms of minutes. I have him projected for 8 points tonight. Coming in at number 5 is going to be Lamelo Ball over 18 points. This also gets a confidence rating of a 6.5 out of 10. This line opened up at 18.5, so it's already went down 0.5. He has also hit the over on this projection the past 3 of the 5 games. Ball also has a 74% hit rate on this projection without Gordon Hayward in the lineup. The Pelicans also rank 29th in the league against opposing point guards. This game is also expected to be close and competitive, so I expect Lamelo Ball to play a lot of minutes. Coming in at number 4 is going to be Devonta Graham over 2.5 rebounds. This also gets a confidence rating of a 6.5 out of 10. He has hit the over on this projection the past 3 out of 5 games. He also has a 67% hit rate on this projection when Brandon Ingram doesn't play. The Hornets also rank 29th in rebounds allowed, 29th in offensive rebounds allowed, and 28th in defensive rebounds allowed. Right now this line has major juice, a minus 158 line on major sports books. I would grab this before it moves. Coming in at number 3 is going to be Donovan Mitchell over 26.5 points. This gets a confidence rating of a 7 out of 10. Bogdanovich is out for tonight's matchup versus Spurs. Mitchell gets a 2.7% usage bump with Bogdanovich off the floor. He also averages 0.1 more points per minute with Bogdanovich off the court. This is also a pace-up spot for Mitchell versus Spurs tonight. Spurs rank 25th in the league in points allowed. They also rank 24th in field goal percentage allowed. This line is also set to 27.5 on major sportsbooks, so I would grab the discount here on prize picks. Coming in at number 2 is going to be Julius Randle over 4.5 assists. This gets a confidence rating of a 7 out of 10. Randall averages 0.16 assists per minute with Kemba Walker and Derrick Rose off the court. Randall actually has the highest assist rating on this team right now. Randall also put up 9 assists versus the Grizzlies last outing. The Grizzlies also ranked 21st in assists allowed. Right now, this line also has a minus 140 juice on major sports books. Coming in as my overall favorite play for this prize picks board is going to be Devin Booker over 35.5 points, rebounds, and assists. 
This also gets a confidence rating of a 7 out of 10. Booker averages 0.06 more points per minute with CP3 off the court. He averages 0.02 more assists per minute with CP3 off the court. And he also averages 0.02 more rebounds with CP3 off the court. This line on major sportsbooks is also set to 36.5. On prize picks, as you can see, it is set down to 35.5, so I would grab the discount here before it moves. Right now, I have him projected for 40.6 points, rebounds, and assists tonight. And that will wrap up my breakdown, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy this breakdown. If you did, please do hit that subscription button notification bell, and of course, smash that like button for all of our future NBA content. With all that being said, have a great rest of your day, and let's cash.